Um, we just we watched film throughout the whole week. Obviously, preparing for this game, we knew that they bite on uh, double moves. Um, coach gave me an opportunity to run a double move. Uh, I wanted the route. Uh, ball got knocked out by the ground, unfortunately. So that was just basically it. just watching film, preparing, knowing exactly how they're going to play certain routes. And coach just giving me the opportunity, quarterback giving me the opportunity to make the play. Next time I got to come up with it. Well, not, we don't think about well, I don't think about it too much. Receiver court don't think about it too much. Of course, you know, you want your quarterback who you, whoever you practice with and play with, but uh kind of things that you know about life, you just gotta be able to adapt. So that's for us, we just adapt and tell each other we got we got each other. Uh, tell Cam we got him, he got us. We trusted Cam as much as we cut trust in Connor. You know what I'm saying? Cam put in a lot of work. He works a lot on his on his own. He works a lot, you know, with the team. So we trust Cam also. So we just told him we got him, he got us, and we're gonna go out there and play. I was very impressed because uh, for a guy like Hayden, you know, I think it was his first week traveling also. So, like, for him to get in, you know, big stage, number two team win, a big house, and play as, as he played, you know, you got to respect that guy. No matter what the outcome was, you know, a lot of people don't understand what it takes, especially at quarterback, to go in under all that pressure. Big guys coming to hit you, you know, you didn't practice with these players. You don't know how they run, you know, where they're going to be, if they're going to be there on time. And to go out there and do what he did, you know, you got to respect him. And I respect him. We all respect him as a team. We let him know that we respect him and we appreciate him for doing what he had to do. Uh, we're going to fight. That's something that we always knew. Like I said, like you asked earlier, you know, what was it like? Quarterback, not playing, you know, got to come in with another quarterback, you know, just knowing that this team, no matter what the situation may be, we're going to go in, we're going to fight, we're not going to quit. So that's the positive, you know, going into Mac play next week. We're not going to quit. We're not going to lay down for nobody. We're going to go in there and fight anybody, no matter the circumstances, third screen quarterback, fifth screen, don't matter. We're going to do what we got to do. Just let him know, just be himself. There's no pressure. He has nothing to lose. You know, just be himself. At the end of the day, if you just be yourself, you just be you. You can't be no one else better but yourself. So that's all we, I was telling him. That's all everybody else was telling him. And we got him. Like we told Cam, again, again, we got you. We know you got us. We trust in you. Obviously, you're out here with us. So let's just do what we have to do. Uh, we planned it. Actually, I want to say earlier in the week, I was told yesterday that we were going to take that shot. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it was supposed to be a stop and go. But he came and he pressed. So we convert those. So, I mean. We knew yesterday that we was going to take that shot and, you know, our credit coach, he, you know, he, he believes in me to make that play. He believes in our quarterback. He believes in the old line to make that play. And like I said earlier with the drop, man, you just got to go make those plays that people count on you to make. You know, that's how they count on you to make more plays. So that was the plan. Man, they play sound football. Everyone's running to the ball, you know. You catch the ball down the field, 15 yards down the field, there's a DN coming. You know what I'm saying? So we knew that watching film, like everybody's sprinting to the ball. So that's just some, they play sound football, something that you want your defense to look like. Everyone pursuing the ball. When everyone pursue the ball, a lot of good things happen on defense. You recover fumbles, you catch picks, whatever it may be. So your defense is very sound, very fast playing on defense, you know, fundamentally sound, and just sprint to the ball. I mean, obviously, it hurts, you know, to see your teammates or somebody, you know, you bleed, you work so hard with, you put in a lot of work with. Those are our brothers. So at the end of the day, that hurts. But just like earlier, you got to adapt on the fly. You got to stay poised. You can't let, you know, certain things get to you mentally because at the end of the day, you still have a game to play. And if you're out there and you're not mentally prepared or you're not mentally in tune with the game, bad things can happen. So for us, we just got to, we just had to tell each other, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that happened. That's a bad thing that happened. But kind of got to let it go at that moment. Now, after the game, we go check up on your teammates. But in that moment, you kind of got to forget about it.